What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Ron. I'm back with another video. This is Trigger Reactions. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. But look, guys, um, we're back. Back with another video. Uh, I'm back with Joe Rogan, man. Joe Rogan and Russell Brand speaking about um, how our institutions are controlling us. Um, there's something going on in the atmosphere, right? There's something happening. More people are aware of the crap that's being fed to them. More people are or are conscious of the food, the, the government, just so many things that are controlling us, and certain things that we should take control of. Right. So, um, no, nah, man, I think everyone's waking up to that, and that's just, this is why I love the internet because we can share and spread information i think once we all get on one accord man but look let's see what joe rogan has to say and russell brand which i done a video on these two guys um last week uh so let's go and they, they did tell people they have to stay home and they did stop people from working and traveling it's just it ramped everything up, ramped all the anxiety up, and ramped people's susceptibility to some sort of a solution. And if you just give in to the authoritarian control, then we can all get back to work. Yeah. Then we go all back to up, get it back up to normal. And that's what scares the shit out of me, is how easy people just rolled over and let that happen. And how the idea... Yeah, I was... Um, luckily, a lot of my work, I do remote. Uh, so I didn't have to change anything when all that was happening um i was blessed in that way but still even still like you know my wife she's an she's a teacher she's she teaches uh third grade and you know when all that was happening they were able to work from home so it didn't really like we didn't have to do a lot of the things people were forced to do like lose their jobs if they didn't want to get the shot or get the shot if they weren't comfortable with getting the shot. We didn't have to do anything. Uh, we just were remote. And we were a little concerned at first about our children when they started to go back to school. But, <clears throat> you know, we pray. We pray over here for anything. And we look into it. We, you know, I think it was a point in time, early, like 2020, 2021, Either late 2020 or early 2021, uh, I think we all got it. We all got COVID. Like, and we didn't um, get the shot. We just kind of suffered, <laughs> you know, did the things we could do to get better. Certain drugs we could, did take that helped a lot. And there were certain other remedies we used that helped. And yeah, so, but I know when everything was closed down and a lot of people, a lot of businesses were losing work, it was like, yo, let's get back to work. You know, people wanted it, you know, and they simply just controlled it all. And people just easily, like Joe is saying, you know, like they just easily just, yeah, sure, I'll do it. Or yeah, let's, let's like after that week. That should have been it. We should have been like, look, we can't just stay in the house. That's not logical. It doesn't make sense. So, but yeah. Ideological rift, the, the divide between the left and the right got wider. Mm -hmm. And people got less compassionate and less apologetic and just, just let people just be themselves. Let, let every, be more charitable. Be more, you know, look at things in a, a way that you could understand, like, what it would be like if you were living that person's life and doing that. Like, right. And I think that's was one of the things that I think we, like, I never told people my opinions about COVID too much, other than, like, my family and friends and people that whatever, but. I never, like, went on any platform to speak about, oh, you shouldn't do this or you should do this or, you know, whatever, right? Because I had to consider others, you know, if this is somebody's job and it's paying them 150 k a year and their job is like, hey, look, we got to let you go. 
I can understand if someone says, nah, I, I had to do exactly what they told me to do. And I understand those who say, nah, I would have just had to, you know, whatever. Like, even with the politics things, it's clear what side I lean more towards and who I'm with. But a lot of my friends are Democrats. I'm the one that has those conversations when we all around sitting around having a beer, just talking at family. I'm that guy. I point out what I believe. I don't care how you feel about it. Uh, but my point is I never like, I never shame people or make them feel like, I just tell what I believe only to a select few. And I mean, well now I got a YouTube channel where I'm clearly saying where I'm at, but I'm not against anybody else where they stand. That's fine. I think we should be not so divided though. It shouldn't be. We should be able to have conversations and be able to agree to disagree because I'm not your problem. The problem is these institutions, and this is what Joe Dem is talking about. It's okay if you're a Democrat, if you're a Republican, if you're a liberal, if you're a conservative. That's fine. Whatever it is, we got to find a median. We got to find that middle ground where what's best for we the people. Period. We give some things, you give some things. And we agreed not to ever touch this here, which is our children's, our guns, and how we choose to make our money. I think those the three foundations. We stay off of those, man. We can we'll be fine. People can do I don't whenever I make my videos, I don't get on here and bash nobody for what they believe or what they do. That's just not how I roll. That's not even Man, I got so many different types of friends, Muslim friends, Christian, uh, you know, gay, uh, but I got uh, so many, it's not, come on, man, we adults at the end of the day. Like, you can see yourself falling into all the same traps, and if you just, you know, like this is like the thing about forgiving people forgiving people that were so mad and they called people who wouldn't get vaccinated uh, plague rats. Like, you know, like, mm. like, I could have been them. We all could have been them. Mm. You could, if you were in those same circumstances, yeah. if you're that kind of a feel for, fearful person, and if you were that kind of a person that really was terrified and filled with anxiety, and you thought there were people out there that weren't doing the right thing. Because that was the narrative. You were being told that those people weren't doing the right thing, and that was going to get us all in danger. Completely illogical, because you're doing the right thing, which is to protect you from a disease. You're you're taking a shot that's supposed to protect you. What do you give a fuck if someone's not getting protected? It's not going to change anything. Right. And so then there was fake narratives like they're the reason why the the variants are stri are coming about. It's because these unvaccinated people, which is completely the opposite of what the science shows. I mean, there's literally vaccine resistant variants. Yep. And they think that that is just a normal part of vaccinating people during a pandemic. Uh, Geert van der Bosch talked about that. I don't know if you've ever if you've seen him talk. No. He was one of the people that was uh, – he was uh, on Brett Weinstein's podcast and he's been on many podcasts. But he is a vaccine expert and he was talking about how the standard model is that you never vaccinate during a pandemic yes. because you just encourage variants. But somehow or another, doctors were saying something that was counter to that narrative. Like they were, they were just spouting off this thing that the problem is the unvaccinated. The problem. So people, in their mind, filled with anxiety, even though they had done the thing that was the right thing. And that's what's. That's I think is the problem, man. We have. I. I um. I did a, a TikTok. A reaction to it was this older gentleman, older white gentleman. Um, and he was talking about he was reading from scripture and he was saying, We're in the day where the people that run you hate you. I can't remember the scripture he, he pulled from, but he said, The people that run you or, or govern over you hate you, they don't care for you. This is where we are. And how that falls under tyranny and all types of other things. Uh, violation of rights, uh, infringing on other people's 
Yeah, just normal God-given uh, rights we have. And our Constitution protects that as well. Uh, but, like, my point is, is that right now, what they're doing and what's being done is a lot of it is fear based, fear mongering, and also to divide. So there's different tactics, there's different devices, and different uh, what you call that uh, headlines and things that they're using to create fear and to divide. And that's when you know. The state of anxiety is at an all-time high. There's so many people. There's so much mental illness going on, and I believe I'm not a doctor. I believe it's a lot of mental illness, which I think is spiritual. And I put it this. I put it simple like this: What I consider spiritual, spiritual, is internal things, right? The things you can't see. So, what's in your mind? That could be spiritual. That's your soul. Your mind, will, and emotion. Right? Your heart, your feelings, internal things that govern and create, you know, what you think, what you say, and eventually uh, the world around you. Um, so they know how to go against that and get in and set little minds and traps and so many things to trigger <laughs> but yeah nah man when people really um, just take a different approach to it do the research be open minded be open to hearing from different parties everyone because some things you can call and see that's BS and some you can learn from somebody so I used to vote one way for Man, since 2008, recently 2020 is when I changed. I started learning, though, like 2015, when I found out, oh, I started getting around new people, different people who kind of let me see things differently. That's when I was like, oh, man, wow. So... That's what it is, guys. Uh, dang, man, I kind of did a little too much talking, about. I wanted to hit Joe them a little more. But I'll leave the original video down below, man. But you guys tell me, what do you think, man? What do you think about the video and what was said? Do uh, you think we're being controlled? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know. Leave it down below, man. Be nice. Be nice in the comments. We're family here. It's loving. If you, if you are not being nice, I will not respond. I will not respond. And depending on what you say. <laughs> it'll get you blocked but uh, I appreciate you guys I love you guys thanks for watching the channel thanks for the support you guys have been amazing like here in my TikTok oh man you guys are showing so much love I've noticed how many subscribers I got just from my TikTok just from my TikTok like people are really supporting the channel supporting the movement supporting the growth and I love you guys I appreciate you guys and thank you, thank you, thank you. I promise you, I'm so grateful. But uh, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. This is your boy, Ron. This is Trigger Reactions. Peace.